What's up guys, Matt from our process and guys today I want to talk about how I'm going to start getting sales and basically I'm going to be using you know Facebook's ads to do this and um, I know I talked a little bit about um, influencer marketing and how I was going to get into that soon but um, I think I'll start getting into that in the next day or so but today I want to talk about Facebook ads and how I'm going to be doing that, social media advertising or you know Facebook and Instagram ads to try and get more sales and more um, traffic to my store, to my Halloween dropshipping store. So yeah, guys, basically like all night yesterday and like for the last six hours, I've been like trying to figure out the best way to use Facebook ads to try and get people to go to my store and buy at least like, you know, one of my products. And you know, I was talking with like one of my friends, his name is Dominic. Shout out to you, Dominic. Thank you so much for everything, bro. Um, and I, and I realized like with talking with him and, you know, um, doing some stuff like trying and trying to like, you know, do an ad and trying to understand it and stuff like I just realized that like I really didn't prepare as much as I should have for starting you know a Halloween dropshipping store. I really didn't prepare. I didn't have a plan for what I was gonna do. I, I realized that I really don't even know as much about Facebook advertising. I I didn't know about social media. I I don't know as much about social media marketing or advertising advertising as much as I as much as I thought I knew. Um, and yeah, you know, that was really like disappointing because like you know when I was trying to do these things. I was like oh, I actually don't really know like how to um, like you know run this ad. I don't know how to set up a pixel or whatever it is. And at this point, like I hoped that I was gonna be able to um, be running ads at this point and start making some sort of like some sales because you know it's already I'm. A, it's already October 13th, like there's literally, there's like 17 days to Halloween. I maybe have like five or six more days until I have to cancel, uh, until, I have to, uh, until I have to shut down this Halloween dropshipping store because, you know, of products taking time to ship to people and like it's gonna, and they, they have to get their thing in time for Halloween and stuff. And so I really don't have a lot of time for this. And I feel like I came into this way too fast and I didn't actually create like a set plan. I didn't create... Um, uh, I, I didn't know as much as I should have. I didn't create a set plan for what I was going to do. And I feel like because of that, it really pushed me back um, a lot. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, like at this point, I was hoping to be running ads and getting influencers and starting to get some sales at this point and start fulfilling orders. Like I, that was at that like I want that that was my plan at this point. But like because I didn't know enough about Facebook advertising and, and social media marketing and stuff like that and, and trying to get traffic to a website, trying trying to get traffic to a store, getting people to um or getting people to buy a product and because I didn't know a lot of these things it really set me back and this may this may actually um, you know limit my opportunities for this Halloween dropshipping store and that's really disappointing because I did put a lot of time and effort into the store um, but you know I just didn't prepare and this really pushed me back a lot so um, big lesson I want you guys to take out of this is like just if you're gonna go into something, especially whether it's dropshipping or social media marketing or whatever it is or anything in life, if you're gonna go into something, you can't go into it not being prepared and not understanding what it's about. Like for me, I just like like dropshipping. Like okay, I know a little bit about it. Like I know what it is. I know how to create a store, but I don't know a lot about Facebook advertising. I don't know a lot about marketing. I don't know a lot about how to get people to um, to buy a product and stuff from a, like to a store and online stuff. Like I just didn't know these things, and I didn't prepare for it. And the result of that not being prepared for it is I'm having to spend hours and hours and hours um, trying to watch these videos and trying to, you know, call my fr call some friends that know a little bit about it and, you know, um, and just spend time that I should be spending, um, you know, running at actually running ads and getting sales and fulfilling orders and, you know, getting influencers and stuff. Because here's the thing, if you start if you if you start without knowing what to do, you'll be completely lost, just like I was, and you'll be you have no clue like what to do, and you'll be like trying to do all these videos and trying to understand it. But like it's but at that point, it's almost like too late. Like if you prepare and you do research and you learn first, the results will actually end up becoming a lot better in the long run, right? Um, so I mean, it, it's basically like, I'm gonna give you guys an analogy, okay? Like it's just like like. Um, like practicing for a soccer game or a football game, like you can't just like go into your first soccer game or like football game and you get like and, and like score a thousand goals. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to prepare for that soccer game. You have to practice. You know what I'm saying? And there's this one quote that's actually on the back of my soccer um, training uniform for my school. It says, "Failing to prepare is preparing you to fail." Guys, like the, I'm just telling you, pre preparation is so important. And um, the results will really turn out in your favor if you prepare and you have a plan for what you're gonna do. For you guys in your life and for me and mine, I just I really need to get prepared. If I'm gonna go into something this much, I'm gonna really put all my time into it. Um, I really have to get know as much about it as possible. I really have to get prepared as as prepared as possible. But nonetheless, guys, I actually did a couple hours ago. After all the hours of research and asking people and like videos and stuff, I actually did run a Facebook ad about an hour ago. 
Um, and how this and how this Facebook ad is, is it's basically it's a five dollar Facebook ad, and it's gonna end tomorrow at um at noon. Basically, what's gonna um but basically what what the that ad is, it's a five dollar ad, like I said, and it's called it's a market test ad. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm I'm marketing to this uh, certain group of people, and to, whether it's you know people who uh, need a Halloween co people who are interested in Halloween costume, Halloween party. Um, or someone who's like a big spender on on online and use their credit card a lot like that those type of people uh, I market this the t-shirt to them like the t-shirt that I show you guys like this is my Halloween costume like the super generic like t-shirt or whatever um, And I put that and then as a caption on the top I put in text. I said um, You know would you wear this for your for, uh, would you wear this for Halloween like comment? Yes, if you would wear this and like, you know, and and basically what I'm trying to do I'm trying to see like okay Is this market interested in this t-shirt as an engagement ad? So I'm trying to get as many people liking and commenting as I can so um, because I want to try and get as many yeses or as many no's or as many maybe or as many you know I like the I like the color but I don't really like the um, I don't really like the text on it whatever it is people because I want to get the market's um, reaction to this T-shirt because maybe it's not a good T-shirt and I want maybe it's not a good T-shirt and maybe the market doesn't like it but that's why I'm doing this this five dollar test instead of instead of spending like fifty dollars on an advertisement. Uh, not knowing if the market likes it or not. So this is like I'm trying to see if the market likes this t-shirt I'm, I'm really excited about um, that market ad and I'll see how it goes and I'll let you guys know how it goes as well But um, and then based on my plan after that is based on the results I'm gonna make another ad. Let's just say a ton of people say yeah I'll buy it whatever and then I'm gonna take those same people same market and then I'm gonna and um, I'm gonna see I'm I'm basically gonna look at the results of that $5 ad and I'm gonna see the people who did like it and said yes um, and said like yes, I would buy this shirt. Look at them. Okay, well, you know what are their interests? What are their behaviors? Are they are they male or female? Like what age are they? And like all these this crazy whole this ideal demographic for my this T-shirt that I'm selling or that one T-shirt that I'm selling. And um, I may do this for a couple other products, but I'm mainly doing this for that one that one T-shirt because that's mainly like my big that's gonna be my big T-shirt that I um I'm gonna try and get out to people. So um so yeah, that's basically the the ad that I'm running and. Um, and I think it's going to do really well. And, but, um, basically guys, like in the long run, I think this will really help me out. Cause I'm, I like, I think that like this, this whole, and, and guys, I'm really excited about it and stuff, but honestly, like this whole Halloween dropshipping store is really just, um, preparing me for actually the Christmas, um, the Christmas Halloween dropshipping store that I want to make. So right now is like me just learning, getting the experiences. And I, maybe it's okay that I didn't, you know, prepare as much for because I kind of just want to go into this and and make this a learning experience that I'll learn from, get the mistakes from, and learn from those mistakes, get the experiences, build the skills, whatever it is. If I make a few dollars, great. You know, if I don't, doesn't matter. Um, I I'm literally just here for the experience, like this, for this Halloween dropshipping store is figuring out like you know what are Facebook ads, what are Facebook pixels, you know, how do I get people to buy a product, like how can I make a store. Um, how, how can I make a good looking store that people actually like buy a product from and stuff so I mean guys basically all this is for um, a, a One great experience and also kind of setting up for the whole uh, for the Christmas So I'm trying to learn as much as I can right now I'm trying to you know get get all the experiences all the mistakes out of the way so I can take those experiences Learn from them and put them into the the Christmas drop streaming store that I'll make in a month or so So guys, I'm really excited. I thank you guys so much for um for being all along this journey guys and if you uh, enjoyed this video leave a like and if you guys are new to the channel you guys just found my uh found this process subscribe and i think you guys will really enjoy my whole process and i'm basically here for you guys and trying to add value to each and every one of your lives as well so um have a wonderful day i love you guys and stay positive love you bye